hello guys and welcome back the next type of method i'm going to talk is a void method the void method does not return a value and it's called strictly for the effects of the code that's within the definition of the method now it doesn't make a lot of sense that become clear once we see some examples before i start the lesson if you didn't subscribe to my channel please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for more lessons in this lesson we are going to do some simple examples of wide methods and uh, then in the next lesson we will talk about uh, reference parameters. I'll show you a classic example of a useful wide method. But first of all I want to show you the logistics of how wide methods work. So let's see, say we want to write a heading that might be displayed at several times in our program or some sort of message it may be our name and date i'm just trying to pick something sample static void and we will call this heading and that's how you write a void method you begin with the keyword static followed by the keyword void and then the name of the method. So in this heading we are gonna just write out a little banner system.out.println Again I'm trying to do anything fancy here. Just trying to give you demonstration of how it works. I'm going to put a few asterisks together and maybe a name system dot out dot print line I'll put my last name here I'm trying to make this uh, particularly good and then maybe the date system dot out dot print line date is uh, 8 of 8 2020 and then we close out with another little line of asterisks system dot out dot print line Asterisks. So now when I want to call the method, I just simply call it heading. Notice that I have to use the empty parenthesis, even I don't have any data to pass this in as an argument. So let's compile and run this program to see what it looks like. Again, it doesn't do much. Java C Chapter Part Five. Dot Java Java Chapter Part Five. So a wide method when it's called will simply execute the lines of the code inside the definition and then return so when i called heading all it did was load out my heading load out lines are inside the definition for the method and then return to the program if i have something to do after the heading then we will perform those tasks just like any other program but all I wanted to show you how wide method is called. Wide methods are always called in a line by themselves because they don't have a return value. So they won't fit any place else. And again you write a wide method strictly for the effect of the code that's inside the definition. Now wide methods can have parameters. So what I could have done, I could have add two parameters in this method and had it print like So now 
I'm not gonna have the spacing exactly right here and if it is wrong I can easily adjust after I see how the output looks so now I can call the method with data like so save let's clear the screen then compile and run it that's it so avoid method is called for the effects of the code that's inside the definition it can have parameters and uh, rules for pa arguments and parameters are same as value and returning functions anytime you have a long series of calculations or computations even if it is just printing out data that's going to perform over and over again is a good idea to put those into a void method so you find though to use those settings in several different places in a program or in several different programs it makes sense to write it out as a void method in the next lesson we are going to look at how the java compiler works with the arguments and parameters that were passed to a method these types of parameters are called value parameters and they have important par properties that you need to understand when you are working with methods. We are going to cover that in the next lesson. If you have any question or suggestion, let me know in the comment section below. Bye.